Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. We have a lot of new subscribers here on Thrill Thrifter and I'm so excited about that. So thank you for joining my thrifting journey. Um, thank you for subscribing and most importantly thank you for watching and we'd love it if you watch the videos all the way through because that helps out my channel. Be looking for a little card to go across to for you to click on if you want to to go watch that Goodwill shop with me. Um, I know that if you're watching it on a TV that's not going to come across. I just learned that from my 13 year old. <laughs> Embarrassing. I did not know that. But anyway, you can go to my channel and look for that video if you want. But here we go, let's get into this haul. Okay y'all, so you know that I have this love for baskets and I've been really trying to redo a lot of things around my home, changing them into farmhouse style things. And I use baskets everywhere. I'll hang them on a wall. I will use them for decoration, storage. I use them for everything. So I do usually Come across and get a lot of baskets but i also plan to use a lot of these baskets that i purchased to put christmas gifts in i plan to as soon as i do this video i'm going to go put them in my bathtub put some disinfectant spray on them clean them dry them and they will be used for to put christmas things in like i don't know candles and goodies and then you put some cellophane paper around it, it makes a really cute gift idea and then they can use this in their own homes afterwards. So most of these baskets that you see me showing you today, they're gonna be gifted to someone with something else in it. Can't really show you what I'm gonna put in all of these because all those people watch my videos. <laughs> anyway, here's the first basket that I got. It was 99 cents and I like it because it has the two little handles. It's a darker color. You don't usually find them in a darker color, but I really like this one. And so I paid, I already told y'all, 99 cents for this one. And this one was a bigger one and I really liked it also because it has handles. This one did not have a tag on it, but I believe she charged me $1.99 for it. So it was, I liked it because it was already like whitewashed kind of looking. It had a, it had a cloth liner in it, but I took that out and threw it away because I mean, I know I could have washed it. I probably could have saved it and washed it. I don't mind buying linen type things as long as they're like a basket or a throw or something like that. I'm not, I don't try to bring too much clothy type stuff into my house. Now I do bring some things, but not a lot. Anyway, and I don't know what was stored in this basket before. So this one was really cute. It, this is gonna be used for, we have adopted a family, our Sunday school class has, and it's got three girls that we're buying things for. So I'm gonna put blankets in here and, and have like a hot cocoa basket made up for them with blankets and coffee cups and different things like that. So that's going, there for that. Now this one um, was, I'm sorry how many times I say um y'all. No, why do I do that? So here's another little basket that I got. It, the price tag on it was 99 cents, but it was a yellow tag. Am I showing y'all upside down? Okay, this was 99 cents, but all yellow tags on this day were half off. So I actually got this one for 50 cents. Now, of course, <clears throat> I do not like this at all. So if you watched the video, you saw that I will kind of tug just a little bit and pull on things to make sure it will come out easily without tearing up the basket. And in the store, I don't want to do it too much because I don't want to tear up something if I'm not going to buy it. So I will just kind of gently pull on things to see if it will come out easily. And this one did, so I purchased it because I'm only going to end up paying 50 cents for this basket after the discount. So look how easy it just, it comes right out. This one, um, it has a, you know, just go along and you can cut these, it's got a couple little things, but other than that, again, it has a little carrying handle. These are really cute to put with the cellophane around them because this kind of helps hold things up. This one was in really good shape. It was not really faded or discolored. That's something else I look for when I'm looking for baskets. But this is also gonna be gifted, have a gift in it and gifted to someone either with some I don't know, you could put like some bath things in there, make it really cute, make a nail polish basket to give to a teen. You can do all kinds of things with baskets. You cannot go wrong for 50 cents. And these also are gonna be used, either I'm gonna do a basket wall in my bedroom because I have a video where I bought a bunch of these and put them along my kitchen and it's so cute. Like people cannot believe that they are paper plate basket holders. They're like, really? I would have never thought to do that. So anyway, I may use these for uh, a basket wall somewhere in my bedroom, I'm not sure. But you could also use these, um, there I go again with that um. But you could also use these as like, lay them down, like flat and put a few things on them, candles, 
dish towels, maybe some kitchen utensils, and let this be your base for to put cellophane around and make a cute little display for a gift. These were 99 cents for all of these, but they were yellow tagged, so I only paid 50 cents for all of these. So 50 cents, even if I use one, I've got my money's worth. Now this one, <laughs> I love this one. I love this dark color. And again, it's got the little handles. If you price a basket like this at Hobby Lobby, I can promise you, you're gonna pay more than 99 cents. I pay 99 cents for that. And it's, again, it's in great, great condition. It's, I love the dark color. I don't know if I will give this one away or if I might keep it. If I can, if I have a need for a basket somewhere, um, to either store or things like that. I will probably keep it, but I bought it to gift it to somebody. So I'm gonna try really hard to gift this to somebody. I only got a couple of more baskets, so bear with me. I've got this one. This one's not really my favorite, but it would make a cute basket to gift again and put cellophane around. This one I may use to deliver some Christmas goodies in, like get little Christmas bags and put like some chocolate covered pretzels, some fudge, some, we call it reindeer food with the Chex Mix and things like that. Just put different little bags of stuff down in here, maybe with a cute little jar for them to just, you know, have M&Ms or something in and then put a cellophane bag around this and just, y'all, dis displaying it is the fun part. Like, people are not gonna really know that this came from Goodwill unless I'm giving it. But this was $1.99 and it's just very cute. And I even thought about white, uh, whitewashing this a little bit and putting a little bit of a white color on it. But I think it's cute just like it is. You could add some ribbon and some bells for a little Christmas. I mean, it don't have to be Christmas. It could be anything, a birthday or anything you could use these baskets for. So you could use this to store nail polish in. I don't know, you could use it for anything. But for only 99 cents, I definitely wanted to pick that up. One more basket, and it was this cute little basket here. Again, this is gonna be gifted to someone with things in it, goodies, food, snacks, I don't know, something. It was 99 cents, but again, half off because it was a yellow tag, but I just think that this one is cute. Look how little it's got the little handles. It's just, it's just cute, y'all. Anyway, that's all of the baskets. So thank you for being patient with me through the whole basket purchase and now we'll move on to the rest of the home decor and a lot of it is like farmhouse decor okay this little guy i love and i will probably not really put him out until fall season again because he's he's like a in my opinion he's i mean he would be cute to use anytime but i feel like he's more of a fall decoration i saw one of these at our local goodwill I don't know, I did a I did a video on it where I videoed and zoomed in on it and y'all I got home and I was so mad that I did not pick the one up that was there that when I saw this one at the Galveston Goodwill, I said I have to have it. And this one was only $2.99 where the one at our local Goodwill was $4.99. The colors were different, like the, the shell here was really dark and so was the squirrel. So I love this one even more so i was so excited when i came across this and got him he's he's a little candy dish let me see if i can open this and show y'all oh i'm sorry i should have already had that done let me see i just think he's so cute to put candy in during the holiday i mean not during the holiday during the fall season i guess is what i should say but yeah look it's so cute yeah, and there you go. He just, yeah, look at him. We live in the country, y'all, and in our yard, on our um, land here, we have tons of squirrels, and they're everywhere. And we have a little um, dachshund, weenie dog, and she's always chasing squirrels, so it's just funny to us to have the little candy dish with a squirrel on it. Anyway, I, I really like that. Then, um, oh, there I go with the um again, y'all, sorry. Anyway, in the video, if you watched it, you saw that my husband was on the hunt for him a large coffee cup. And y'all, anytime he's trying to find him a new coffee cup, he wants to get these crazy, exotic, I don't even know looking coffee cups. So when he picked this one up, I was very excited because it was just plain and kind of matched the kitchen. And not that it really matters, but this one was a threshold brand. He picked it up. He was on the hunt for a large one because our Keurig, when he does the large 
cup setting. All the coffee cups that he has, because we used to not really use the Keurig, now that's all we use. Anyway, it's beside the point. He needed a large coffee cup. I don't like drinking out of mine because they're like girly looking, he says. Even better, this one was yellow tag and it was only 79 cents. So he purchased this. Next was this cute little guy right here. Look, it's so cute. I thought this would be cute to put out with my Christmas and Valentine's Day decorations. It's just a little, I mean, it's just a little decor piece and I'll put something out of it. Some, I don't know, you can put something different for Valentine's, put something in it for Christmas, some, some little Christmassy pics or something. And it was a, actually came from Hobby Lobby um, originally and this was how much was this oh this was 99 cents I just thought this was really cute it has this farmhouse distressed looking kind of stuff on it very cute I love it now I got at the second Goodwill that we went to I come across this you see me running really fast through that second Goodwill we go to and so I'm scanning really fast and my eye caught this and I was like oh I grabbed that thing and put it in my buggy because look how cute this is, this does not have a blemish or a scratch anywhere on it. I was in love when I saw this. It was $1.99. This actually come from World Market. I'm sorry, I don't have my reading glasses on, so I'm struggling. It came from World Market, and it still had a World Market like clearance tag on it. I don't know. I love this. This, this is going to go somewhere in my house. So very, very cute, very farmhouse looking and then I came across this little thing y'all I love to decorate and put little cutting boards and stuff different places I don't know if I'll stain this or just leave it like this but it's it's probably going to be used on a three-tiered tray or I'll use it and lay it down put a candle on over here I layer things like crazy in my house just because I love how that looks so I will definitely be using this for something I don't know where the price tag went on this, but I'm sure it was only like 79 cents or 99 cents. Oh wait, I've got the receipt right here for that one. It was 99 cents. So yes, got that. Then I got this, I, I wanna say this is a scarf, but y'all, I do not really use the scarves that I purchase at Goodwill and different things like that 99.9% .9 of the time. I'm buying this to use in home decor. I have a little blanket ladder or I did a decorate with me for Christmas and I have an old cabinet door, pantry door that I use to just hang a blanket on and a basket and a little sign. It's very cute. Um, so I thought this maybe would look cute on my blanket ladder, the, but I don't know. This was... I think this was $2.99 honestly but it's very cute and it's pretty big I don't know if you can tell I can only stretch so far but this was a pretty big little thing and you can use it to like throw over chairs or any little thing I just thought that this was adorable I like the colors very cute then I got this blanket yes very cute I'm gonna try to see if I can get up close to you guys and let you see that it has hearts on it. So I thought this would be cute for Valentine's Day. You could use it all year, but I thought I might just save it and put it on my blanket ladder, kind of tuck it in and then pull it out more so during Valentine's Day because it has hearts on it. I don't know if you can tell, see the heart pattern on there, but I just thought that this was very, very cute. This kind of reminded me of grandma's house. I don't know, it just, it's so cute. Anyway, this was, I believe, $1.99. They, you know what, I lost my receipt in the midst of all the crazy trip that we went on, but I wanna say this was either $1.99 or $2.99, but I thought that that was pretty good for one of these types of blankets. I really like it, and um, it had no stains. Watch that video because I almost picked up another one and it had someone else's name on it. It had Stacy on it. Now, if I had a Stacy in my life, I probably, would have bought that and given that to them but since it was coming to my house for decoration i didn't want one with stacy on it so be sure you check your blankets before you throw that in your butt now this oh i love this look at this these people were trying to snag this out of my buggy look y'all look at this isn't this just wonderful 
some people may be going, what? But if you a farmhouse style, loving girl, y'all, look at the price. I can't even. Sometimes I don't know what to think about Goodwill. Then other times I'm like, you go Goodwill with your $2.99 price tag. I love this. This is either going to sit on my fireplace with a plant on it once the seasons change and I, you know, my fireplace is now white. So I'm going to clean this up really good. I don't know if I'll paint it. It depends on where I put it. If it goes on my fireplace, I'm going to keep it dark. If it goes somewhere that's dark, I'm going to need to paint it light. I'm always changing something. But anyway, I absolutely love this. Even if I distressed this, painted this white, and set this on top of my coffee table, y'all, I just love doing weird little things like that. I would use this, put a little, little pot plant on here, a candle, some decor. I, I would make it work. But y'all, I was so, so excited to find this. And it was actually picked this up last. I could not believe that it was still there. It was just meant to come to my house. But anyway, it's very, very, very cute. I loved that. Okay, and here is a few of the little kitchen items that we picked up there. These are some little mini mason jars. And these are brand new, still in the box. We we checked these out on the video while, while we're in the store just to make sure they were all there. The only thing I don't like about these is that they don't have lids with them. But, I mean, I'm going to use these probably probably in our homeschool room. That's where we are right now, in our homeschool room. And I could use these to put somewhere with like paper clips, push pins, I don't know, something like, I'll come up with something. But this was $1.99 and I just thought they were adorable. I don't know, I'll use them for something. They were so, let me take one out of the box just in case you didn't watch the Shop With Me video. I'll take one out and just show you how cute they are. It says live, love, and eat. So maybe that's not going to work for paper clips, but <laughs> I will use it in my kitchen maybe then somewhere because it does say eat on it. So let's see. That's very, very cute. I'm not really sure if you have any ideas of what I could use these for. I know that's not smart to buy things unless you really have a need for them, but y'all look. I, I even could give these as little gifts, like let Elizabeth use these to gift things to her friends. We could put a couple little candy canes in this, the little smaller ones you get at the Dollar Tree. They're only about this big. She could put a little hand sanitizer in there or some kind of little fun something for her friends, lip glosses, things like that. Even a nail polish would be cute and a file thing and kind of put them in a small bag. I just came up with my own plan. But it says eat on it, so I guess the candy cane would qualify for the eat part, right? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think. Y'all might think this is gross. I, I almost think it's gross, but y'all, I've been wanting to try one of these. And before I spend a whole lot of money, I think Mandy in the Making uses one like this. Y'all, if y'all don't watch Mandy in the Making, I love Mandy in the Making. I wanted to try one of these, and so I'm going to really, really wash and sanitize this good. It's one of those chopping, like you put onions, you can chop like onions, your boiled eggs, different things like that. And they're kind of pricey in the store. It has like the cup measurement thing there. It was $1.99. Did I say that? I'm sorry if I'm repeating. I want to try this before I purchase one that is expensive. So we're going to see how it works. Everything was in there. Everything was in there. Someone probably got this as a gift and was like, I don't even cook. Why well, don't I put that in the Goodwill bin? But I, I mean, it has all of the little different things to it. So again, I'm going to wash it, clean it up, see if I like it. Because sometimes you buy things like that, they're expensive, and you try them, and you're like, really, that was a waste of money. But for $1.99, I can try it, and if I don't love it, I'm not really out a lot of money. Now, Elizabeth picked up this. This is her little haul. This cute little, what is this? That's a hedgehog, I think. I don't know. She has a love for hedgehogs. Miss Deborah, if you're watching, I know you're going to try and steal this from her. Miss Deborah is her Wednesday night church Awana teacher. We love her, and Miss Deborah loves hedgehogs. So she'll probably be trying to steal this. This phone case that Elizabeth picked up for me because she hates my phone case right now. My phone case is orange. Nobody else has one like it, so we always know that that's my phone. But she picked this up for me, and we got it for 99 cents. I just thought that it was cute. So for 99 cents, I'm probably going to change out my phone case, but this one needs to be washed and disinfected before my phone goes in it. Last thing was this. 
you're probably thinking, now what are you gonna do with that? Okay, so beside my sink, during when the seasons change, and like when it gets spring, when spring kind of hits, I do yellow. I do lemons and the yellows, and I love it for like the spring and summertime. So I decorate with the yellows during the spring and summer. And I thought this would be very, very cute beside my sink. Like sit it beside my sink to have like a little station set up with dish soap, hand soap, a couple of my little sponges. And anyway, I just thought that that was a neat little idea and it would kind of bring in some yellow over there, but also be functional because water's always splashing and I'm constantly moving the bottles. And I thought, well, this would be cute if it was just like kind of sitting over there and everything was in one spot. Okay, y'all, I also wanted to let you know that this has been sanitized, cleaned up, washed, run through the dishwasher, and I've used it. I was able to use this to chop up a huge onion. Now, I had to cut the onion in quarters and then put it on the little chopper thing, but y'all, y'all, life-changing onion chopper right here. Okay, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this haul video. If you have not checked out the Shop With Me video that we did at the beach, be sure and go check that out. We really, really, really appreciate you guys, and I love having all of my new subscribers here and want to tell you thank you. Thank you so much for joining our family of thrifting and, and do-it-yourself and all the things that we love to do. Just thank you so much for watching our videos and supporting our family. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.